It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do, and I understand. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising, every time we fall. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. The object of the superior man is truth. Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. To know what you know and what you do not know, that is true knowledge. By three methods we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection, which is noblest. Second, by imitation, which is easiest. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest. Success depends upon previous preparation and Without such preparation, there is sure to be failure. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Only the wisest and stupidest of men never change. When it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. It is easy to hate and it is difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve and bad things are very easy to get. When anger rises, think of the consequences Silence is a true friend who never betrays. The cautious seldom err. He who learns but does not think is lost. He who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. Never give a sword to a man who can't dance. Better a diamond with a flaw than a pebble without. Humility is the solid foundation of all virtues. I hear, I know, I see, I remember, I do, I understand. What you do not want done to yourself, do not do to others. If you think in terms of a year, plant a seed. If in terms of ten years, plant trees. If in terms of one hundred years, teach the people. Old age, believe me, is a good and pleasant thing. It is true you are gently shouldered off the stage, but then you are given such a comfortable front stall as spectator. To be wronged is nothing unless you continue to remember it. The strength of a nation derives from the integrity of the home. Study the past, if you would divine the future. The expectations of life depend upon diligence. The mechanic that would perfect his work must first sharpen his tools. Heaven means to be one with God. Do not impose on others what you yourself do not desire. If I am walking with two other men, each of them will serve as my teacher. I will pick out the good points of the one and imitate them, and the bad points of the other and correct them in myself. Do not impose on others what you yourself do not desire. The expectations of life depend upon diligence. The mechanic that would perfect his work must first sharpen his tools. To be wronged is nothing unless you continue to remember it. It is more shameful to distrust our friends than to be deceived by them. To see the right and not to do it is cowardice. Never contract friendship with a man that is not better than thyself. We should feel sorrow but not sink under its oppression. An oppressive government is more to be feared than a tiger. 
You cannot open a book without learning something. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large. A gentleman would be ashamed should his deeds not match his words. If you look into your own heart and you find nothing wrong there, what is there to worry about? What is there to fear? Wisdom, compassion, and courage are the three universally recognized moral qualities of men. In a country well governed, poverty is something to be ashamed of. In a country badly governed, wealth is something to be ashamed of. To practice five things under all circumstances constitutes perfect virtue. These five are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness, and kindness. If we don't know life, how can we know death? Without feelings of respect, what is there to distinguish men from beasts? The superior man understands what is right, the inferior man understands what will sell. The superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. The superior man thinks always of virtue, the common man thinks of comfort. To see what is right and not to do it is want of courage or of principle. Virtue is not left to stand alone, he who practices, it will have neighbors. To go beyond is as wrong as to fall short. I want you to be everything that you deep at the center of your being. To see and listen to the wicked is already the beginning of wickedness. They must often change who would be constant in happiness or wisdom. Learning without thought is labor lost. Thought without learning is perilous. The superior man acts before he speaks and afterwards speaks according to his action. He who speaks without modesty will find it difficult to make his words good. The superior man is distressed by the limitations of his ability. He is not distressed by the fact that men do not recognize the ability that he has. Faced with what is right, to leave it undone shows a lack of courage. Death and life had their determined appointments. Riches and honors depend upon heaven. When you know a thing to hold that you know it, and when you do not know a thing to allow that you do not know it, this is knowledge. When we see persons of worth, we should think of equaling them. When we see persons of a contrary character, we should turn inwards and examine ourselves. When you are laboring for others, let it be with the same zeal as if it were for yourself. Ability will never catch up with the demand for it. A superior man is modest in his speech, but exceeds in his actions. Virtuous people often revenge themselves for the constraints to which they submit by the boredom which they inspire. I am not one who is born in the possession of knowledge. I am one who is fond of antiquity and earnest in seeking it there. He who exercises government by means of his virtue may be compared to the North Polar Star, which keeps its place, and all the stars turn towards it. There are three methods to gaining wisdom. The first is reflection, which is the highest. The second is limitation, which is the easiest. The third is experience, which is the bitterest. The faults of a superior person are like the sun and moon. They have their faults, and everyone sees them. They change, and everyone looks up to them. 
To those whose talents are above mediocrity, the highest subjects may be announced. To those who are below mediocrity, the highest subjects may not be announced. Speak the truth, do not yield to anger, give if thou art asked for little. By these three steps thou wilt go near the gods. To rule a country of a thousand chariots, there must be reverent attention to business and sincerity, economy and expenditure, and love for men and the employment of the people at the proper seasons. The superior man makes the difficulty to be overcome his first interest, success only comes later. I will not be concerned at other men's not knowing me. I will be concerned at my own want of ability. Instead of being concerned that you have no office, be concerned to think how you may fit yourself for office. Instead of being concerned that you are not known, seek to be worthy of being known. The firm, the enduring, the simple, and the modest are near to virtue. If some years were added to my life, I would give fifty to the study of the ye, and then I might come to be without great faults. Look not at what is contrary to propriety. Listen not to what is contrary to propriety. Speak not what is contrary to propriety. Make no movement which is contrary to propriety. He who acts with a constant view to his own advantage will be much murmured against. Look at the means which a man employs, consider his motives, observe his pleasures. A man simply cannot conceal himself. The superior man does not, even for the space of a single meal, act contrary to virtue. In moments of haste he cleaves to it, in seasons of danger he cleaves to it. Go before the people with your example, and be laborious in their affairs. The book salesman should be honored because he brings to our attention, as a rule, the very books we need most and neglect most.